even people who went into cricket, everyone knows who Shane Warne is. And everyone, I feel, in this country is feeling this to some degree. A sombre stream of people laid flowers, cricket balls and beer bottles at the foot of Shane Warne's statue in Melbourne on Saturday. The country woke to the shocking news that the cricketing great had died from a suspected heart attack while on holiday in Thailand. He was 52. His death dominated local media on Saturday, pushing news of devastating floods on the east coast of Australia and the war in Ukraine off the top of news bulletins and websites. The Great Southern Stand in Melbourne Cricket Ground would be renamed the SK Warren Stand, according to Victoria's sports minister. Former Australian cricket captain Ricky Ponting paid homage to his fellow teammate. It's the, the ultimate recognition, I guess, of, of um, you're one of the world's great sportsmen. Um, just... One of the finest bowlers of all time, whose talent and personality transcended cricket. Warren was rated as one of the five greatest players of the 20th century by Winston Cricketer's Almanac. But his hard living often made tabloid headlines as well. The wily spinner frequently courted controversy and served a 12-month suspension after testing positive for banned diuretics in 2003. Thai police said on Saturday they were not treating his death as suspicious. His body would be transferred from the island where he died, Koh Samoyi, to the mainland for a full autopsy to determine the cause of death.